friends, today I'd like to do a little tutorial for this beautiful art piece. Another adventure with watercolor splotches. Let's start with some blue. I want to draw a butterfly. So I'm kind of making, this is sort of like a V shape and I'll put wings here and on the other side too. It's like an X almost. Yeah, I like this. It's very easy. Like this. There. One in this direction. Boom! There I have a tulip. Let's do another little flower. Put a little X. Start with a little X with the tip of your brush. There. How about we also do some circle flowers, just round ones. One here, one bit higher, maybe one really close up. Big color splotch. And tie, maybe another one here. And maybe another tulip in a distance, a little bit smaller. One, two, three. I wanna continue doing this with Whatever colors I like that come to my mind. So you can choose your own colors and create these beautiful butterflies or flowers. Next, we want to work with a Sharpie. So see if you can find a Sharpie. And the first thing we do is we're going to outline all of these shapes. See what we make of those shapes. So very careful. Try to draw all the way around it with a big fat sharpie. All of the shapes. Let me zoom in on one shape here. How about this yellow butterfly? It's going to be a butterfly. Okay, so maybe I'm actually going to put a little body inside here to make it look like a butterfly, a little head. And then have it flying downward. Why not? I'm going to zoom out again. And I will finish tracing all of these shapes, even the littlest ones. So I'm turning these nice colorful spots into butterflies. This one as well. Hmm, which direction? I think I'm gonna have this one fly up. I'm gonna give it a little head here, a little body in the center, and just put some lines in there. Make it look funny. <laughs> okay, the next thing we need to do is give those beautiful flowers a stem. We are going to return to our watercolor and I'd like to add some green grass on the bottom. So I'm going to go and mix my green, pick a medium color green and I'm going to brush upward very, very lightly, get some grass in there. Make sure you brush it in all sorts of different directions. And don't be afraid to draw a little bit over your flowers. When you get your first layer of grass down with a medium color, green color, I'm gonna add some dark grass as well. So I'm picking my darkest green right now and I'm gonna do the same thing. Try not to fill all of it. You just wanna add some darker green in there and just short strokes upward. Some can be longer, some, ones, some are shorter. Okay, um, there's two more things to do. I'd like to actually, this is too much white in here, so I'm picking my medium color green again. I'm gonna put a little line in here, just to indicate where the ground is. If you want, you can now brush it upward just a little bit some more. There's only 
one last thing to do, which is, I think, always the funnest thing. I'm going to spray my paint and sprinkle it all over. So I'm picking three colors. Three of the colors I see here, actually I pretty much see four colors. So I wanna pick blue, yellow, and purple. I'm gonna start with my yellow, actually I'll start with a blue. And I'll pick up lots of blue with lots of water. And I'm gonna use this paintbrush, this other tool here to bang it against. So I'm gonna go like this. <gasps> Ooh, see how it spritzes and sprinkles the paint? Don't overwork this either. I think this looks pretty good. I will do the same thing now with yellow and then purple. Now it's time to sign your art piece.